God be the glory. The honor and the praise. Of, I give him, uh, I give God all the glory. Every good and perfect gift comes from my Heavenly Father. I thank God for the victory and the opportunity to praise him. Uh, You know, uh, we tell our guys that you know you got to keep playing. You know, don't stop playing. Uh, you got to persevere. From uh, play to play, and game to game, you got to be uh, tough-minded, physically tough. You gotta compete at a high level, and uh, you gotta move on to the next play. You, know, and you can't take plays off, and you just gotta grind. You gotta grind. And, uh, for me, uh, this game epitomized that. You know, just uh, keep playing, keep grinding, being tough-minded and physically tough. Uh, you know, we, we play Buffalo. Physically, we'll try to come at you. You, know, you, you have to, you have to grind. You, know, you got to be tough physically. And, uh, and I, Javon Clark, uh, I thought he he really epitomized that today. Uh, we ran our team. We started to cramp some. We ran our team. Uh, Ten rebounds. His spot, you know, nine assists, three turnovers, 11 points. Uh, and there were some little things he did. Uh, and he came back for a, uh, to, he came back to the ball to get a, a, a save. If he didn't, the other kid would have would have stolen. Uh, he just, you know, he just. Uh, I thought he epitomized that that tough, hard-nosed uh, point guard play. I thought our big guys, I thought they did a really good job battling and scrapping. You know, it was a physical game, but Spencer, Rashad, Cam, front line work. Uh, I thought we did a really good job. And then I thought we got a big lift from our bench just by being solid and doing their job. And uh, JD, Josh, and uh, DeMarco. So just a really good team win. And all the stats that we, we want to try to win every game, we, we won points in the paint. Points off turnovers, second chance points, fast break points. And I, I thought defensively, we really did a great job on Javon McCray. You know, we, we crowded him, and, uh, we made him earn everything. And, uh, I thought uh, that was big because he's, uh, he's a low, he's tough. And, uh, I thought we did it as a team. So uh, I had to tip my hat to, 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 to our guys and, and I credit them. They, they, they kept grinding. They, they, they kept persevering. Will you talk a little bit about the, the last four minutes, first of all, defensively, because you had that 12-0 run, and the key probably was the, the O part of that, the zero. What, do something different, just something better uh, in your eyes? Uh, you know what? Uh, that's when Cam and, and um, Anthony came back in the game during that stretch. I, I thought that was big. And then Josh came in. But I, I thought, again, uh, the points in the paint, I thought we did a good job of uh, crowding the post and, and shut down the paint. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, Rashad had five blocks. I don't know if he had that stretch. Uh, I thought also uh, uh, rebound, defensive rebound. I thought we, uh, they might have got some second shots, but they didn't really hurt us with and then we, we didn't foul. We kept off the free throw line, which was big. And uh, we were able to get to the free throw line. So, and we didn't turn the ball over, which led me to fast break point. So there's a number of things. But uh, again, I tip my hat to our guys. Our second half defense, I just looked 31%, you know, 38 for the game. 
we talked about it. We said we got to defend the rebound, and uh, we, we, we got to limit our turnovers. And I, I thought we did, we did that, uh, especially in the second half. And, and the way we ended the first half, I thought was good. I thought it was more middle uh, builder and confidence builder. And, you know, the last play of the half when we scored at the buzzer, I, I thought that was big. The defense stopped to the fast break basket. So how you end and, and begin halves, I think, uh, can, can go a long way. Well, you talked a little bit, you, you mentioned about how this team keeps playing and keeps growing and things like that. That has got to be tough when you, you've gone through a stretch, you've lost your last two, and you know to come back and keep playing hard and, and well, how I'm tough not, is that? Yeah. You know, you know, in this, in this uh, sports, in, in, in this uh, age of uh, instant, what have you done for me right now mentality from the media, the fans? You, you can't get caught up in that. You, you got to see the big picture. You said we lost two in a row, but, but they got to remember they won three in a row before that. So we, we, that, just because you lose two games don't make you a bad team. You know, you got to remember, you know, there, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, you, you ain't going to win every match. That's just life. In, 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 in anything, you're not going to win every fight, you're going to win every battle. But if you keep getting up, all right, and there, there's, a, there's a story in the Bible of David and the Goliath. And before David was going to fight Goliath, uh, King Saul asked him, you know, hey, you know, how you going to fight this guy? He's been a fighting man from his youth. And first of all, David knew that God was on his side and God was giving him the victory. But secondly, he remembered his past victories when he had slain the lion and the bear. And it's important for, for our guys and our team to remember past successes. I mean, because that lets you know what you've accomplished before. If you, if you just listen to the voices, it's always about right now. But if you look around, and, and I, wish, I, I wish more people would look around the country, look, look around the ups and downs, and the, the, uh, the peaks and valleys every team goes through. It's just a, uh, it's a part of the season. And uh, we are in a season. A season not two games. It's not, it's not two losses. It's not three wins. A season is a season. It's a season. So you just move on to the next game. One play, one possession at a time. One game at a time. So, we, you know, sometimes <laughs> you listen to the doom and the gloom. You know, you, 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 you can believe it. You can believe it. But you, you can't, you, you just can't, you can't. Will you talk maybe not about the technical, but the way that technical foul that was called on their coach, it looked like that gave you guys a little bit of a spurt there. I mean, did you see that or am I making something up? No, he gave us points. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the points. You, I mean, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I think Spencer, I, I, think, I think he made both of them. I'm not sure. And then Sean made one out of two, so it gave us three points. I don't know if we got the ball back, probably not, but I ain't sure. But it gave us points. And, uh, you know, I, they, I, I can't manage their bench or whatever, but I do know that, uh, you know, I think we might have been behind, so we needed the points. Can you talk a little bit about Spencer Parker's plan? Yeah, you know what? I, I uh, I probably, uh, you know, I, I probably owe him more credit uh, sometimes than I give him. Uh, Spencer's an attack guy, and he really is one of our most competitive and, and, and uh, aggressive uh, guys you know, in terms of how he plays the game. And uh, he played 39 minutes. 23.7 rebounds, got to the line 14 times. I mean, that's, that, that's a great day's work. And, you know, uh, he's, uh, he keeps the sport, scoreboard moving a lot of times. And the way he attacks the rim, the way he gets to the free throw line. But you're right, he, 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 he had a big game for us. And uh, he just attack, attack aggressive guy. 
he don't mind uh, putting his body out there, uh, you know, when he plays. So, I mean, I, I uh, you know, he, he's done a lot, and he will continue to do a lot, uh, you know, because uh, he, he is an aggressive player. And he, he's got a, he's a competitive guy. Six threes in the first half, but uh, two of 15 in the second half. Do you feel like you guys were able to defend the three a little bit? I thought we did. You know, I think, uh, I know Rashawn blocked one, maybe two. Uh, and you know what, though? You're on the road, second half, hard fall game. Sometimes the threes aren't as easy to make in the second half. So, uh, But I thought we defended three well, better. Uh, you know, they're a tough team. and. Uh, you know, they run some good offense. Uh, you know, they keep you off balance. Uh, but I, I thought we did a better job covering the three. And, uh, that was our concern with the zone. They seemed to hit, hit some threes against our zone, so we tried to pick our spots. But I, I thought we did a good job, a better job in the second half. And they still had some looks, but, you know, like I said, in the second half, sometimes it's a little tough to keep making threes. Although you were out scored by four points on the bench, can you talk a little bit about Josh Gomez and his nails play tonight? Hey, uh, you know, Josh, uh, uh, you know, he, I, it's important that, you know, even though you don't always get the minutes, you never, you never give up. And you, I think for him it's been hard to a degree not playing. And that's okay because you want you always want guys that want to play. Uh, but I always encourage him to keep don't stop the work. The work don't stop. Stay up deep. And I, and I thought he had really he had a couple of really good days in practice and I just thought his mind was in a good place. You know, I, I challenge Josh every day. Uh, you know. You gotta be focused from beginning to end. Practice everything we do, and I thought he he, he was had good focus this week. And we need him. You know, we need him. Uh, and I thought he did a good job. I thought he did a good job. And JD, uh, you know, I talked to him uh, as, you know, about just doing, you know, just knowing and doing the job, and uh, keep playing through whatever. Just keep working to get better. I think that's very, very important. That individually and collectively, you keep improving. And I thought he had a couple of good days of practice. And, you know, uh, he wants to be on the court, and he's not afraid. That's one thing I say. He's not afraid, uh, and he's learning. But he got two big defensive rebounds, two big defensive rebounds, uh, and that's the reason we put him in the game because we needed. We were going small, but we needed a guard in there that could rebound, and he did. It. Did his job, and, and that's one thing I emphasize with him. Know your job and do your job. You know, that's true with everybody. You, know, you got to know your job and do your job. And JD gave us a big lift, and uh, you know he played through his mistakes. And I thought it was a good day for him. Is right. there any new news on Craig Seeley or on Zach Denning and your injuries? Zach practiced some, some uh, last couple of days. And, Craig, uh, you know, seems to be feeling better, but uh, you know, their body will tell them tell them when they're ready to play. So if their body tells them, uh, then I will. So uh, we they got to have practice time, and they got to feel good about the, you know, not just the next day or the next game, but you know, the next game is physical. So uh, you know, my prayer is that I you will know, continue to heal their body. Be able to play. Uh, they'll know when everybody is.